In this session, part 1b, we're going to do the grass and I'm going to show you color mixing to make a secondary color um, and kind of filling in that background area. Okay, So um, this part you can see I've got my palette from last time. I'm just going to lift this up because I still want to use this paint for later. I'm just going to lift it up and get myself a new piece of palette paper so I can make my new colors. Notice during the uh, break there I washed out my brush. Okay, And I'm going to dump it in here into my dirty water cup. I got my new clean water cup. I'm just going to get a little bit into my clean, independent, individual water cup there. And we're going to start with our new paint. We're going to get some yellow and we're going to get some green. <clears throat> All right. And of course, we need some white make our tints okay and we're gonna start kind of doing the background grass here just the same way that we did the top of the blue sky there okay so I'm just gonna slide this up just a little bit so we see more of the ground all right and we're gonna start just kind of filling in this space now we don't want to just use straight green out of the bottle because that's kind of boring um, and we don't just want to use straight yellow out of the bottle okay but we want to kind of use a combination. So I'm going to start with the green here. I'm going to add yellow to it. Yellow is our weaker color. So really I should be going back because I should be using the yellow and adding the green to it. That's going to give us a nice kind of lime green color. Okay. Now I can take that and add it into the background. I'm going to paint right over the top of my blue that's already there. And I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to do a neat job of edging next to my tree. But if I make a mistake, we can always go back and change it later and add some white in here to kind of create a tint of that yellowish green color. Okay, you can kind of see it there. And I'm gonna, you know, best thing is just to start over on the left hand side all the way and then kind of work your way over. So if you uh, need to set your hand down somewhere, you don't get your um, hand all wet. Notice I'm just going to kind of keep again mixing these colors together as I go, nice and even. So I'm mixing it together evenly, trying to keep the darker, you know, richer colors in the front and the tints the, the like farther away in the back. And that's going to make it look kind of like it's farther away in the distance. Okay. And we're going to kind of put some more pure colors right up front in just a minute. Um, but here we go. If I paint over my um, the tail of my giraffe there, it's all right. We'll paint over it again later with the correct color. Okay, so here we go. Just kind of painting in the background a little at a time. And you can see that I still can see my leaves up there in the front. Um, so that's okay. That's what we want. We want to have it be nice and um, transparent kind of so we can still see it. I'm going to paint right around my monkey here. Okay. Notice I'm edging in being nice and neat. I'm not trying to be sloppy. I'm going to get a little blue in there to kind of change it to a little darker color. Not a lot though. Remember blue, yellow and blue make green. Right, that's why I have yellow and blue on here and then I have the green in the middle so I can kind of change it from one shade to the next, from one tint to the next, and one color to the next. Okay, Right here I'm going to paint right there in between his legs so that we make sure that we don't have an empty white gap there later. Okay. Notice I just went over my lion a little bit, or sorry my tiger, um, which is okay. I mean do the best you can to edge in around him. But if you paint over him just a little bit, that's okay. That's what we've got the sharpie lines there for, right? Okay. But we want to make sure we get around him so that we don't have big white gaps in the back. Okay. You can still see how I'm continue mixing my colors. Okay. And there's the grass. Now I'm going to take some white and mix kind of a lot of white in here. It's very light. And I'm just going to go right along the back edge so that it's like uh, a lighter tint of color. Okay, want it just a little bit green, but 
almost white. And if you fudge this line a little bit so that you can't see the horizon line perfectly straight, that's all right. Okay. But you can see how I'm making tints and shades and using that skill of tints and shades to create a nice even background. Okay, now I'm going to kind of just take my brush and uh, get most of the paint off, but I'm not going to wash it because we're going to stick with the green color. And I'm going to take some of this pure green and I'm going to kind of just edge it in here and make some painterly brush stroke marks. kind of indicate there might be some other leaves hiding behind there. Okay. So we've got kind of a couple different colors going on so it looks more interesting. I'm going to like kind of just wash the paint or not wash but kind of just dry my brush off. And I'm just going to kind of blend these areas together so they don't look so much like there's a harsh line there. Okay. And that's the end of our second part here of uh, filling in the background, our Henry Rousseau painting part 1B.